It seems like we're not the only ones fed up with Offset's antics and his constant cheating on Cardi B, as if it were his primary occupation. Cardi's family, especially her mother, has had enough of his nonsense. Offset seems to have a new infidelity scandal every few days, and who wants to be associated with a man like that? Honestly, I'm so engrossed in this drama, it's not even funny. Cardi B often talks about how close-knit her family is and the strong bond they share. However, she's also made it clear that she has no intention of leaving Offset because she considers him the love of her life. What a complicated situation. So, the big question is, will Cardi ever leave Offset, or will she choose him over her family's concerns despite his cheating? And did he actually give her an STD? Let's dive into all this drama. Most fans seem to side with Cardi's mom, as they've been urging her to leave Offset for over four years now. One thing about Offset is that he always seems to embarrass Cardi publicly, unable to stay faithful. He has a penchant for loudmouthed women who don't hesitate to broadcast their affairs and rub it in Cardi's face. What's even crazier is that fans are starting to piece things together. They believe Offset may have manipulated Cardi from the start to make her emotionally dependent on him. For instance, their first date was at the 2017 Super Bowl where Offset secured them the best seats. And for those who think his cheating started after they got married, think again. He's been unfaithful long before they tied the knot. Remember how he proposed to her in October 2017 during a concert in Philadelphia? Sure, the proposal seemed sweet, but insiders suggest the real reason Offset popped the question was because he had cheated on Cardi just weeks prior. Proposing was his way of apologizing, knowing how much she wanted to be married. It was a grand gesture to win her back. The proposal was the most public aspect of their relationship up to that point, and Offset wanted to make a big splash. He claimed it was all about being romantic, but some sources say he did it publicly to ensure she couldn't say no. Quite the sneaky move. So what did Cardi's mom think about this proposal, knowing her daughter was marrying a cheater? Well, she wasn't exactly thrilled about it. She expressed her concerns to Cardi, but by then, Cardi and Offset had already had a quick secret wedding. There wasn't much anyone could do at that point. It seems Cardi herself wasn't uh, entirely confident about the marriage as she kept it hidden until TMZ leaked their marriage certificate. She was furious when the news broke. Cardi likely knew Offset would cheat again, and unfortunately, she was right. Marriage seemed to give him even more confidence to stray, earning him the nickname Off to Cheat instead of Offset. Reports say Cardi's mom was uncomfortable with how her daughter stood by him despite everything. However, not long after giving birth to their daughter, Culture, in 2018, Cardi announced she was leaving Offset. She didn't mention anything about Offset cheating on her, but it was instantly clear that he had been unfaithful once more. Unsurprisingly, one of his mistresses came forward to admit she had been having an affair with him. When Cardi discovered the truth, she was devastated and decided to file for divorce on the spot and end their relationship. Instead of admitting his mistakes or taking responsibility, Offset attempted to shift the blame onto Cardi's fans, claiming they were the reason she decided to divorce him. Meanwhile, his mistress feigned ignorance about the seriousness of their marriage, which is hard to believe. Cardi B appears to be in a really tough situation right now. Rumors are circulating that her record label is planning to drop her because she's not generating enough revenue. It's been about seven years since Cardi released her debut album, and the label is reportedly fed up with investing in her without seeing any returns. This is not looking good for Cardi, as fans are now mocking her for being a flop. And we all know Cardi doesn't take criticism well. So, is Cardi really going broke? Will she ever release another album? Let's dive into this drama. It might explain why Cardi has been lashing out at fans recently. She's been arguing with them left and right, even bringing up one fan's deceased father because she didn't like what was said about her and Offset. And it's not just her label putting pressure on her. Her fans have also been criticizing her for not releasing a second album after more than seven years. Cardi B keeps promising to release her new album every year, but here we are, seven years later, and still no album. Despite promising to drop it this year, the year is more than halfway over, and we haven't heard a peep from her. Just last week, she announced another delay, claiming that summer releases aren't successful. A fan tweeted, the album is definitely not coming in the summer. An autumn or winter release has much less chance of getting viral hits and will earn fewer streams. Plus, after six years of waiting, it deserves a good release date. Cardi responded, please tell me which albums have done well this summer since you think you know everything. Fans thought she was taking a jab at Megan Thee Stallion, but Cardi denied it saying, shady what? It's the truth. Albums aren't performing as well in the summer as in other seasons. There's so much music traffic with thousands of songs 
things releasing, and it's hard to get placement for more than two weeks. It's statistics. Use your brain. Not everything is messy and shady. Joe Budden then criticized Cardi, calling her a flop and a one-hit wonder. Big Rob on Friday! Saw that. That's gonna be crazy, but that's what Cardi's about to be now. Just, uh single artist. You're not getting none of that shit. Man, you was right too. About what? About Atlantic. That wasn't the last time Cardi found herself in hot water. She also had a run-in with influencer Paradise Paris, who criticized Cardi for her inability to handle feedback. I don't understand why I keep getting her by this man. You want an interview or something? You want to hear my album so bad? If you want to hear my album so bad, you could pull up to my studio session. You could pull up. But I'm really sick and tired of you keeping my name in my my name in your f mouth, and then you acting like you acting like you you keeping it there because you really want a project for me. No, you want to tear my project down like you tear down every of my single, like you you tear down my single, you tear down my personal life, you tear down everything I do. So it's not coming from a genuine place. It's not coming from a genuine place. So you need to stop that. Leave me the f alone, bro. Leave me alone. What is it that you f want from me? What is it that you want from me? Because you're not going to last in here. I just want the album. I just want the this. No, you talk, you talk, you talk about every single I do. You compare old to me. You compare new to me. You compare every single to me. You don't compare new to new to You compare everybody is, everybody has to beat Cardi B, a new or old but it's Cardi B, Cardi B, Cardi B, Cardi B, Cardi B. If I suck so much to you, if I'm such a lazy artist, why the f my name? Why the f Belkalis is coming in your f mouth? Belkalis, 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 Belkalis. Belkalis. All the time. Like, leave me the f alone, nigga. And I don't even be addressing you. I be ignoring you. Everything. You tried me in December when you said that sh I did that sh with my for publicity. You tried me. Really tried me. And then you keep trying me, and keep trying me, and keep trying me. And then you keep lying on me. You don't know nobody that's in my team. I have a very... Paradise remarked, Why does Cardi B feel she's above criticism? All of her peers are releasing albums and making strides in their careers, while she sticks out like a sore thumb. No tours, no meet and greets, no merch, just one album, featured singles and viral moments. Is she a rapper or a ranter? Cardi responded sharply, That's not what I said. F you and your three stomachs, B-Wax. In retaliation, Paradise made a video where she mercilessly dragged Cardi. Y'all may as well tag Cardi B because I'm going to give it to her like she thinks she give it up. And before y'all start, no, she came and found my tweet after all the tweets that I was tweeting to praise her and chose that one. And she should have stood on it. Now, don't delete nothing because I'm just now seeing it. And I just woke up and they hit the blogs. Yeah, you caught red hand. All that backbiting you thought you was going behind your button and clearing him for. You doing the same thing. Don't throw no rock and hide your hand, Miss Mamas. It ain't an etch a sketch bitch in the motherfucking world who could ever make me feel bad about my body you done touched everything on you and you still got so many insecurities because you can't keep your husband at home you to pay for to get because they want to suck the same you sucking that's not a me problem that's a you problem it could be four stomachs it could be six stomachs it could be seven stomachs at the end of the day you to sit there and pay for everything on you and you still insecure you still cannot keep yourself in the media selling and the ain't going nowhere it don't matter how much of a bad you think you are with them hard at the end of the day, what was said about you is correct. Your ass is sitting around trying to make sure you keep your family intact and your ass is still over here cussing out fans, delusional fans, when you're getting passed up by every single body around you. You call yourself this bad rapper and you in this terrible sister deal with Atlantic when well, you need to be sitting around worried about how you gonna make sure these tracks hit the Parts and stay because even your peers are passing you up. It's no reason why Megan Thee Stallion is on tour right now. Came out behind you and you done did a number one album and yo can't even put out an actual single that stays on the charts longer than two weeks. So yeah, what I said was correct. And if it hit a nerve, that's too mother. Bad. Maybe you need to get in the booth and maybe you need to figure out how to get some records that are actually going to stay on the charts and stop cussing out these fans who are kids that like you acting like you so for your fans and y'all in a good relationship when you act real homophobic when you sat there and told them boys he was a he was a sissy you got bigger fish to fry and it ain't me so the next time you feel like you want to come for me first of all you better stand on what you said you better stand on what you said because I'm the that's going to give it to you I don't give a how black you want to pretend you are I'm really that 
Don't nobody look at me and question it. I don't care about your accomplishment. Because next time you want to say something out your mouth, I'm going to be right here to give it right back to you. Ooh, grab your popcorn, folks, because the drama is sizzling hot. So our girl Cardi just delivered a scorching clap back that's got everyone talking. Here's the tea. Cardi was not having it and went off with, when I get surgery, honey, it's not for any dude. I do it because I love the way I look. I had my curves and my glow way before I met Offset. It's so typical for you haters to bring up a man when you've got nothing else to drag. Y'all can't handle the fact that guys are lining up in my DMs while you're here mad that your stomach looks like a layered wedding cake. But wait, there's more. She threw in, talking about being hard? It never worked hard. You're out here shaped like a Flintstone vitamin, a whole gummy bear. You love surgery so much. I'd rather die on a table than look like you. Oh, and Paradise had some words too, saying, mine are natural, and you were built like a long bed Mexican before those 18 surgeries. Your teeth looked like a stack of dominoes, and your tongue's as lazy as the Mississippi River. Cardi hit back. Since high school, my body's been snatched. My teeth were stacked, but that's nothing compared to your three stomachs and two chins. And you talk about about my tongue like yours isn't heavy too. The shade was real. Paradise wasn't done saying, you look a mess trying to invalidate my opinion because of my looks. It wasn't about a dude. You tried to be funny and now you're mad because everyone sees you're a flop despite having a number one album. Cardi responded, why always drag my marriage into this? How am I a failure with a number one album? Yeah, the album that no other female has topped in years. Y'all can't talk about anything else? Paradise clapped back with, you're threatened by your peers. That's why you spend so much time trying to control the narrative. We can go all night. My tongue's slicker than yours. And Cardi wrapped it up with, tomorrow, I'll wake up in my mansion with breakfast cooked by my chef, a career, and beautiful kids. You'll wake up with three pillows under your dress, ready to clock in at Marshall's. This is the highlight of your life. You lost. Cardi's got a sharp tongue, and she knows how to use it. She even shaded a fan who tried to come for her marriage on Instagram with, why do y'all always bring up my marital issues? There's more to me than that. Did you predict when your daddy was going to die? See how I can get mean too? I was just sharing an opinion about politics, but your hate is so real, you drag my personal life into it. Lately, Cardi's been battling it out on social media, and we finally know why. A blind item spilled the beans that her label is thinking of dropping her. Apparently, they had a secret meeting and decided her fans aren't motivated enough to keep her on the charts. Since her first album, so much has happened, and her label's embarrassed. A publicity stunt is set for early August, but it's not surprising they're considering dropping her. Cardi never went on tour, which is a major moneymaker for labels. She had her baby right after her album dropped, so she couldn't tour. Despite a few releases, it's not enough. Labels are all about the cash, and without a profitable tour, they might just cut her loose. Fans have been ruthless, saying things like, Cardi B has been striking out all year. No label wants to drop an album when she's flopping. This is her pink print. But unlike Nicki, she's failing. Atlantic's moving on because of low sales, no top 10 hits, and failed rollouts. Offset seems more in love with the idea of having you than actually being loyal. Cardi should consider ending things with him because loyalty shouldn't be one-sided. Sometimes, loyalty has an expiration date. It's time to find someone who truly values you, even if that means a billionaire, sis. But what do you all think? Do you believe Cardi will finally leave Offset for good? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to watch the next video.